Good morning. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive, and we are here in Mount Kisco, in front of Mount Kisco Elementary School, uh, along with uh, leaders of the uh, school district here in uh, Bedford Central and some of the uh, important students here at Mount Kisco Elementary and some other of our elected officials as part of uh, the county's uh, willingness to work alongside school districts to help them have a safe school year. County government does not have direct control or responsibility for schools, but we are a partner to school districts. And one of the things we're here to do today is to provide at no cost uh, here in Mount Kisco and in other school districts across the county masks that are appropriate for uh, young people to wear so that they can be safe. We know that uh, our elementary school children are not eligible for vaccination. We want to make sure they stay safe in a learning environment, uh, in an in-person learning environment particularly. Uh, and to do that, we want to at least help the school district provide that option for their students. Uh, so I'm joined here uh, by the supervisor of uh, the town of Pound Ridge, which is part of the Bedford Central School District, Kevin Hansen, the county legislator for the district, uh, Kitley Koval. You'll hear from both of those in a few minutes minutes. And uh, we'll also hear in a second from Inez Morsi Hogans, who's the principal here at Mount Kisco Elementary. And I'd like to bring up right now the superintendent of the Bedford Central School District, Dr. Joseph Adelberg. Dr. Joel. Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Joel. Thank you. Hi. So good morning. I also want to just introduce um, also here with us this morning and thank you County Executive Latimer. Um, I want to acknowledge that Mr. John Bauscher, our president of the Bedford Central School District Board of Education is also um, here with us this morning. So on behalf of the entire Bedford Central School District, I want to thank County Executive Latimer not only for joining us here at Mount Kisco Elementary School this morning for the special presentation, but for all of his support, partnership and advocacy especially as we've navigated the uncharted waters of a global pandemic since March 2020. As a district leader, as superintendent, all county superintendents meet with County Executive Latimer and his team every Monday morning to go to talk about safety protocols and processes, to look at data, and really to do everything that we can do in partnership to keep our schools open and our staff, students, and um, especially our students, and our communities safe. So on behalf of the Bedford Central School District, and today as we welcome you to Mount Kisco Elementary School, County Executive Latimer, thank you so, so much for the masks that you're giving us for our students. And we will continue to work with the county and all of our regional partners in making sure we do everything we can to keep our schools open, in person, and safe. So thank you so much for being here. And I'm really honored to be with you all this morning, and especially our students from Mount Kisco Elementary. Thank you very much, Dr. Edelberg. Uh, it is very difficult to run a school district over the last two years. Um, there's no question that with all of the pressures uh, to try to determine how uh, a school district would implement rules that have come down from the state, uh, the distancing inside a classroom where students are in classroom, uh, circumstances where they've had to study remote or in a hybrid setting, all of these things have been thrown at the educational institutions uh, with almost no time to, uh, to work it through and oftentimes without any resources to work it through, which is why it's very important for the county government to be a partner and to do everything we can to help make it easier for the school districts to do this. The authority to make the decisions are at the local level between the school board and the school administration, uh, but we know that that it, it's, it's um, unfair to ask school districts all across the county to uh, jump through certain hoops uh, and have minimal amount of assistance. So we're happy that we can do these things and hopefully we'll be able to do more in the days to come as your needs are necessary. Uh, next, I'd like to ask uh, Inez Morsi Hogans, who's the principal here at Mount Kisco Elementary. She is obviously on the firing lines to deliver education for all these young people. So uh, Madam Principal, if you can share your thoughts. Thank you, County Executive Latterman, so much for your generosity, for coming here this morning, for understanding that in order for us to be in school safely in person, mass compliance is necessary, and kudos to the students on behalf of the teachers, the students, uh, the faculty and staff, not just of Mount Kisco Elementary School, but of Bedford Central School District. We're so grateful for your generosity and for your presence here with us this morning and for understanding the importance of being in school and what it takes to be in school. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Principal. And, and please convey to the other members of your administration team and to the teachers of the school how much we appreciate as well 
their leadership in this difficult time. It's, it, it can't possibly be easy on the firing lines, trying to help young people learn at the same time get through all of this. I also just want to recognize uh, that the school board uh, has an important role to play in all of this. School board members all across this county are elected unpaid positions. They're elected by their neighbors and they hear from their neighbors when things are not to their liking. And uh, both to the president of the school district and, and your colleagues on the school board, you are public officials as the rest of us are. And we appreciate you know, your role in being on the firing lines and all of the diversity. Bedford Central is a, is a unique district in that it spans three different municipalities. I had the pleasure of representing two of those municipalities as a state senator before I became county executive. But Mount, the district includes Mount Kisco. It includes a large swath of the town of Bedford and then all of the town of Pound Ridge. And those are three very different municipalities that are all part of this district. So we're here in one of the elementary schools or our other elementary schools that will also receive some of these benefits. There is not a thing that gets done that the county government does that we as an executive branch announces without the support of the county board of legislators. Uh, we have at our level of government a good working relationship between the legislature and the executive branch. They are two separate branches of government with separate authorities. I served as a legislator both in Westchester and in the state level and there is a natural tension as there should be between them but when we have things to do that we know are necessity we work together very well and Kitley Koval who is completing at the end of this year her second term as a county legislator has been a fierce advocate for the communities here in northeastern Westchester and um, she's been a friend for a long time but she has no problem coming up to the floor ninth floor where I work to yell at me if she thinks I'm not doing the right thing for Bedford and Mount Kisco and Poundridge and the other communities she represents so I'd like her to share a few words in this moment for her leadership and all of these things Kitley thank you so I first want to say thank you to the students for a rough couple of years here. It's, we're going to get through this. You guys are doing a great job. I've never seen kids stand without fidgeting or fussing, <laughs> and you guys are doing a wonderful job. I think you're, you're going to be on TV. It feels that way to me. Um, and sometimes you're probably looking around for that mask, right? You know, your mother's like, hey, you got to take this, or you get to school, I forgot my mask. Well, we're giving you a lot, a lot of masks, so hopefully you won't have to scramble around for that. But I have been in this school a few times reading for Cornell Cooperative. I don't know if you ever have had that yet, where somebody reads a book to you about uh, what's around us. I went to Pound Ridge Elementary School. You'll hear from the supervisor of Pound Ridge Elementary School. It's a wonderful school district, and you guys are doing a great job. And I really want to thank you for being so patient. And the principal, I know it falls on your shoulders. The buck stops with you, with a lot of parents and a lot of problems. So I really appreciate how hard you, I'm sure you have worked and how hard everybody's uh, been able to withstand what we're going through right now. But we're in it together, and we'll make sure you have masks. So thank you very much. Thank you, Kidley. And I think something that Kidley said is really germane here, which is we are all in this together. Many times you see in government uh, a willingness to finger point and blame other levels of decision makers. It's not my fault. It's this person's fault. Or I don't do this and they do this. And the only way we work through this pandemic is to find that area of cooperation. The school district is a separate and distinct governmental jurisdiction from a general government, a town, a village, a city government, or a county government. And the county government has its corporate responsibilities, which aren't the same as the town's responsibility. But through this, trying to find that level of cooperation is essential in order for us to solve this. And we work across party lines on an issue like this, and we work across jurisdictional lines. And so um, when we, uh, we have those Monday morning calls with the school superintendents, we're trying to figure out how can we be helpful as a county government. Uh, uh, later in the afternoon, we generally have a similar call with municipal officials, town leaders, city and village leaders, and we invite the county legislature and our state legislators to participate in that and have a dialogue about how we can work together. And, and so while there are some separate corporate buckets that we each have authority in, we try to work through these things as best as we can. So one of those individuals is the town supervisor of the town of Pound Ridge, Kevin Hansen, who is here with us today. As I mentioned, Bedford Central, uh, as a district, cuts across uh, three municipal lines. So the supervisor of the town of Bedford, the mayor of the village of Mount Kisco, and the supervisor of, of Pound Ridge are all jurisdictions that connect in. So uh, we want to make sure that uh, we have our partners in local government as well on these issues. So Supervisor Kevin Hansen. First, and I'd love, really like to say thank you to the County Executive George Latimer. Uh, for providing, you know, these masks to the residents and, and the school children of the Pound Ridge Elementary School. Uh, on behalf of the Pound Ridge residents, it's, it's greatly appreciated. 
and it's greatly appreciated how much the Bedford Central School District administration uh, works with us and includes us in the decision-making process. And so we're greatly appreciative uh, as we went through this pandemic for all the communications that we had there to help keep our residents and our students safe. And so to me, this is a tremendous opportunity that we have here. And I obviously want to ca uh, thank also you know, one of our alumni, uh, Kitley Koval, uh, for her legislative efforts on behalf of the town of Pound Ridge uh, to the county. Uh, this is just a, you know, a, a tremendous example of how we all just try to work together to solve a problem that none of us, when we signed up for this, thought, saw and envisioned that this was going to be in front of us. But we, we did it. We got through it. And the kids seem to be going, doing well. They're healthy. And so, again, I just want to thank you all for your efforts and support throughout this for the, from the Town of Pound Ridge. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I want to recognize some of uh, our team that's here today from the county uh, administration. We're joined by Rosie Finizio, uh, who has worked very hard with us uh, in an area that we don't usually are we aren't usually responsible for at the county government level, and that is providing uh, daycare services, child care services, uh, which is now a necessity because of what's happened uh, in the society. Uh, Lisa Reyes uh, from our communications department is here, and she's done a fabulous job for us. Catherine Chaffee, our director of communications, uh, is also here with us. And we have a member of our team who's involved in operations um, relative to how we're responding to COVID, uh, Aviva Meyer. And Aviva is an alumna of this building. She went to Mount Kisco Elementary School. I don't think it was that many years ago, but uh, she is here in front of her old elementary school now in her professional capacity as a director of program and policy in our administration. So Aviva, welcome home. We're glad that you're back again. And see kids, there's, there's a future for you. And, and hopefully at some point in time, somebody will invite you back in front of your old elementary school when, uh, when you're all famous. You all think you're gonna be famous someday? You're gonna be famous? Yes, yeah. You're gonna, dri you're gonna drive a car someday? We have unanimity on that? Well, they're going to grow up and in due time they're going to drive a car and become famous and we're going to be able to say we remember them when we give you a first chance on TV right here. So, uh, I just want to close, uh, and if there are any questions from the press, we'll be happy to take them. Just want to close with the understanding that the county government does not have a role to mandate certain things. Our job is to be a partner and to be helpful. Certain decisions are made at the local school district level, and some decisions are being made at the state level. As we saw last year, the former governor and now the current governor, Kathy Hochul, have the authority to do certain things for counties and towns and villages and cities and school districts, and, and we're obliged to implement those things as a county health department. Department. So I think, Dr. Edelberg, the, the commitment that we make publicly as we've made it privately is whenever these mandates come down, we'll work with you. We'll do whatever we can with our resources to help you satisfy them. School districts were not meant to be COVID testing centers, so we're trying to be helpful in that area, which is requirement. Um, school districts were not intended to be uh, procurers of masks, if that's what's required. So hopefully we'll be able to do these things as we go forward. And I do think that when these mandates do come down from the state, it's important for everyday people people to understand that uh, our job as local officials from the school board to the county to the to the town and village officials is to legally implement those things that we're required to do and do them effectively because the truth of the matter is I look forward to the day when I can take this mask and put it in my armoire at home and never have to pull it out again and and not wear it in public and that'll be the day that we know that we put COVID behind us I hope that day is soon but that day will be whenever it is and we're going to have to rely on professionals to be able to advise that not necessarily how I feel on a given day but what makes the most public health sense because at the end of the day the greatest responsibility we have is to these young people to give them the chance to grow up and have a full life by the way they're educated by being healthy and by giving them every opportunity in the days to come that is our common commitment for all of us as adults and whatever our experiences are so if there are any questions from the press I'm happy to take them now and if there aren't, you can certainly reach us. Uh, our Director of Communications, Catherine Chaffee, can be reached at 995-2932. If there's any follow-up, we can certainly connect you with the school superintendent, school board president, the principal, any of these kids that want to take any questions. We're good. We're good with that. And, uh, yes. Any? I'm sorry if I Please. the beginning, but what was delivered here today? What are you delivering to the school? Uh, we delivered boxes of masks that are sized for uh, young children. Uh, the county was able to obtain them, and we've obtained su sufficient quantity. I think it's 200,000 
uh, countywide, if I'm correct, uh, which we're distributing to uh, elementary schools all across Westchester County. This is one location and it's symbolic of what we're doing elsewhere. And we're doing that because uh, we know that the governor has indicated you know, certain policies relative to school masking, and uh, we want to be able to give the school districts here and elsewhere the option to do it, and without them having to find money in their budget to do it, nor to go through the logistical process of obtaining it and bringing it in the door. So that's our purpose today. This is something we committed to do to the school districts in one of those morning calls, and we're trying to honor that commitment in the same way that we've also committed to provide uh, testing at no cost to the schools to the extent that testing will be required under the, under the state laws. Any other questions? Great. Thank you all for coming. Be safe and have a good weekend ahead. You guys got to go back to class. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's